So we're going to talk about the hydro stick by Electronics compared also paired up with the redheads. This is a combo. This is a kit that comes with a redhead setup. These redhead mics are different than the yellow line mics. They are much more sensitive and you get a lot less ambient sound. You get a lot less background sound when using it with the actual hydro stick itself. Let's talk about how we use the hydro stick, what comes in the hydro stick and how, um, we set it up. So the hydro stick is real simple. It's an all-in-one amp. It's a simple to use amp. It's basically push and play. So uh, again, aside from having the LT1000, um, before you threw a mic in the pool, you would have to mute it first. Now you can do whatever you want with your mic. And when you're just, and your mic is settled and everything's not moving and still, you just literally push this button to listen. So let's talk about that. It has the on and off and the power button. So that's what this is right here. So when you turn it on, the LED is gonna go green. And now we know that we have power and what you also want to do is start at very low volume. So when you first turn it on, it's the lowest volume. Turning it up will give you high volume. Let's start with about a quarter of a turn, and that will give you what you should start listening with. Now, when you get over what you want to listen with, if you need it to be more sensitive, then stop, turn it up, then press to listen. Again, you don't ever want to be listening while you're moving these microphones. They're very sensitive. So we have an XLR, but let's also first talk about how we use this. There's no batteries in this. There is, it's, but it's rechargeable. You don't ever have to replace these batteries. The recharging port is underneath this dust cover that we have here. So basically, and it comes with the charger and the cube. So it's a USB to a cube that it comes with, and this literally plugs right in and you start to charge. Now you have LED lights on here as you're charging. The two LED lights will be on here and they will pop on as we go. And it starts from red when you plug it in and it will turn to green when it is fully charged. When it is fully charged, you should be able to get um, two to three hours, working hours of this out of it before you should recharge it again. I would never let it get too low and always give it a charge at least once a month if you're off season and you're not using it. This way you'll give that battery a long life and it'll be ready to go. Another thing that we have on here is our headphone listening port. So again, you just literally plug the headphones that come with it, the 1 8 jack goes plugs right into here and now you're ready to listen. So we have our three mics that come in this kit and they are, again, the redheaded and they are just a real incredible dynamic sound. So again, the pipe mic is for plugging it in and listening in pipes. Again, if we are walking a pool and let's say we have our SM1, our SM1 is the side mic and it's for listening on things on the wall that we're standing in front of. Anything on the vertical could be lights, could be side suctions, could be a structural crack, it could be in front of returns. If we hear something, if we hear that rush of water, that leak that we're listening for, if it's in front of a return, next thing I like to do is throw my pipe mic on and push it in. Again, whether it's a spa jet, whether it's a return, whether it's a side suction cleaner, whether it's a skimmer line or any other plumbing that you could get that into. If it's getting louder when we're going back, we're getting closer to the leak. If we go past it and it dims out, we went past the leak, pull it back, Get it right over where you need to, pinch it, lay it out, and mark it out, and you're good to go. Let's talk about maintenance and how to take care of this. As I mentioned before, if you're not using it, if you're in the Northeast or you're in the Midwest and you're in your off-season, charge this thing once a month. Take a WD-40, spray it on a rag, wipe it down once a month, once every two months. Again, you never want to have this thing submerged. It is not waterproof. It's water resistant, but it's not waterproof. You don't want to get this thing too wet. Um, wipe your cables down. Again, I like to wipe them down with a little WD-40 on a rag once a year on the cables. Those things could take a beating. Um, as far as your headphones are concerned, again, just Make sure nothing gets completely saturated. Wipe everything down. Put it in the water-resistant case, and you should be good to go.